to do another experiment here. It's a just a base card from 2020, but got some indents. Stuff that I'll see that Pokemon collectors or you know other TCG collectors will send me and say, hey, is there anything you know how to do here? And my answer is usually no. So I'm trying to f help you guys out here. Like I'll see this stuff. So what I want to do is we're just going to apply one hit of mist. Just a little touch of card spray. We're, the key is doing very, very light amount. So I'm just going to hit it one time. That was it. See just a little bit on there. And I'm going to put the card face down. And I'm just going to do the same thing. One mist right on the other side. And I'm going to close it up pretty quickly. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is just hold the card. I'm going to hold it for the rest of the night. I'm not even going to check on it. I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to clip it up with my uh, little card clips here and just check on it tomorrow. I think that, well, I'm making a little bit of progress with some of these annoying dents and um, I'm finding that a little bit of card spray is important, but not in the same capacity as like a baseball card or something where you gotta get it really wet. So just different material, a little bit of a different uh, approach, but hang tight, we'll, we'll take a look here tomorrow. All right, stay tuned. All right, so morning session after last night's this one missed. So I I peaked already. I cheated, but um, it didn't go didn't go away. Now you'll say, oh, it looks a little bit better. And you're right, it does look a little bit better, but it's not all the way. But here's what I what I do when it looks a little bit better. Like you know, they're not as deep. They're still pretty good though, right? So. I'm not gonna change it up a lot. It just might take a couple sessions like that versus like when you do a sports card or a paper card and it's like soaking, soaking, and it takes like four days to dry. This might take one little pump a day for four days, I don't know. But I'm not gonna, that's, that's a variable I'm not gonna screw with because I know that when I get a Pokemon card too wet, they just, they just don't, it just doesn't work. It just messes them up, so. I just did two little hits of spray right there. We'll put that there. Let's do the same thing. Oh, I missed it kind of. All right, so that, that, it's not even like, it's barely wet, you know? It looks more wet on there because I got to shine on it, but that's, I'm just trying to stick with little amounts of moisture from my card spray. And if you can, if it takes several days of just doing this, I know Pokemon collectors would say, fine that's who cares if that's the deal that's the deal you know nothing nothing really good when it comes to cards is super duper easy unless it's just like polishing the front but structural stuff it takes a while so all right day two just a couple sprays super light super light sprays on pokemon and uh we'll see how this one goes i kept doing one spray of card spray like every 24 hours sometimes like 12 hours just a little mist on the uh, Pokeball card and turned out really, really good. You guys check this out. You can still faintly see, uh, well, if I can find them, you can still faintly see a couple of those indents like where they healed up like right there a little bit. But I mean, they were serious, they were deep. So this took four days, just light, light amounts every day. Look at the back too, it looks pretty dang good i can see a little dent right there kind of by my thumb and i bet you guys like since i got them so small i bet you if i just kept on doing it i could get it fine but look at the texture's great no big dents anymore and that was just a little mist of spray on the drying pads and holding it shut it did take me four days but it looks pretty damn good thanks for watching i wish you guys nothing but success with your card prepping and restorations and uh i'll talk to you real soon i'm kurt with kurt's card care